This video is about how to solve a 3 into 3 square Rubik's Cube. It's not about how to solve it faster, it is about how to solve it. Once we learn how to solve it, then with practice we can do it faster. Now let us get acquainted with a 3 into 3 square Rubik's Cube. A 3 into 3 square Rubik's Cube has a 3 layers. The bottom layer, middle layer and top layer. We will be solving the bottom layer and middle layer using color code and the top layer using an algorithm means a formula. Now let's know about certain color code and the faces. Always remember the yellow centers opposite is white. The green centers opposite is blue. Orange centers opposite face center color is red. So this is about color code. This cubes the one that faces us or you is the front face. This is back face, right face, left face, top face and bottom face. Top face or upper face. Now the right face if I turn in clockwise direction the algorithm will be called as R. Right face anti movement is called R prime means R R prime. The upper face clockwise movement is called U. This face anti clockwise movement is called U prime. The left side or left face clockwise movement is called L. Its anti clockwise movement is called L prime. The front face clockwise movement is called F anti-clockwise movement is called F prime. Say I want to move the right side clockwise and anti-clockwise. So for this movement hold these four bits like this and tight so that when you move this only this face moves. If you hold somewhere here the complete things move. Okay now hold this tight. Now I'll show you what is meant by R R prime. This is R and this is R prime. Then for moving the top face use this finger. So hold like this and this. This is U and this is called U prime. Then to move the left face hold like this. This is called L and this is L prime. And for moving the front face this is called F and this is f prime so these will be the algorithm notations now let us begin with solving the bottom layer after that we will solve the middle layer and at the end we'll solve the top layer for solving the bottom layer we have to create the daisy daisy means yellow center with the four white leaflets so the yellow center we want here white 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 for that I see a white here so as we turn like this and uh, say like this reposition we got white beside yellow and then turn it like this the next white we see two whites here so turn it like this further this one. And then uh, we have one more white. So let us bring this white to this end. As we turn we got like this. So now we got the daisy. This is called a daisy. The first step. Next see for the top whites ages and color. So ages and color is orange. So ages and colors. The next color should be the same thing. So turn it so that you get the top whites ages and two bits of same color when you get like this turn it through 180 degrees then uh, white the two green bits turn it through 180 degrees then white blue so here we want blue and now turn this through 180 degrees then we have white red so we want here red now we remember that orange opposite is red so turn this through 180 then you got two red bits now turn this through 180 once we do so the yellows opposite face will be white which will be a white cross so getting the white cross is the second step 
once we get the white cross remember to keep this throughout at the base of the ruby cube till the completion of solving the puzzle next now we will try to solve the base layer the bottom layer for that search for the top layers side white pieces so here we have a white piece when you get side top layers side white see for its edges in color so this white's edges in color is orange so now turn the top face so that this orange color is found at the center piece we know that red's opposite is orange so turn it such that you get white's edges and color on its a diagonal line so we have white edges and orange and we turned to get orange diagonal orange once you get like this hold these four bits like this then do this move this is l prime u prime and l though i said i'm not going to use any algorithm but the way the movement the movement algorithm i said now search for any other edges and top faces with side white so here we see and its edges and color is green so search for green diagonal bit so white its edges and green and we have diagonal green hold this now what is the move the left move left move is turn turn and this and throughout we are having the white in the base that always should be in the base that we have done now search for any other white in the edges and so still we have let's see what is its edges and color blue so we want a blue diagonal so turn it as you turn you got white edges and color along its a diagonal so hold the piece like this it is towards this diagonal is towards the left so we will do the left movement what is a left movement it's this this and this when we do so we got a white in the top edges and and its edges and color is blue this time white edges and color blue and this a diagonal is towards the right side when it comes to the right side we have to do the right move for that hold these four with the thumb with back press and do this move this this and this now see the base line so the base line orange blue red green so the base layer is a done and with its bonus the bottom layer is also done for solving the middle layer we have to search in the top layer the center bits with no yellow parts neither this side nor this side so this is not useful to us turn this is also not useful to us turn this is a middle bit with no yellow piece when you get so see for this uh, lateral color lateral side color is green so match it with a green face and when you bring it here you will see a reverse t when you get the reverse t see for this reverse t is a top color this top color is either in the right side center or in the left side center so when you see you will find this orange in the right side center so now hold these four bits and follow this move uh, for setting the middle layer so this turn once again back once you do so we will be getting one of the top lateral white bit with adjacent orange so turn it 90 degrees so that you get white's edges and color diagonal but this diagonal is this time towards the left side so hold it this way and follow the left side move the left side move is this this and this next now search for the middle bits with no yellow part so this is not useful here this is useful and here already it is aligned in reverse t 
once you have this in reverse t see for the top color the top color should be either in the right side center or left side center here this color is in the right side center so we have to hold these four bits and follow this move the move is this 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 and this when we do so we will get the white lateral bit so turn through 90 and then this time you get the red diagonal towards the left side then we have to do the left move left move is this this and this next once again start searching for the middle bits with no yellow so not useful but it is useful so search for the red part so you see red here and now you have a red reverse t when you get this reverse t search for this color either in left center or right center this time this color is in the right center so what are the moves hold like this this first next once again back and now we have white lateral part so now turn through 90 hold like this follow the left move search for this bit not useful but this is useful no yellow so search for the blue part when you bring like this you get blue reverse t and then the orange orange color should be here in the center or here in the center this time this is towards the left side so we follow this move so hold like this and then this time first next next back when we do so we have displaced one of the white from the bottom so this one turn through 90 degree so that you get the diagonal color this time this diagonal is in the right side so we have to hold these four bits with thumb and the back support and follow the right move what is the right move so the right move is this this and this now the orange is done blue is done red is done green is done so with this the bottom two layers are done and already the bottom face was done now solving for the top face we will use algorithm before solving the top lateral face we will solve the upper face for solving upper face our first step is to get a yellow cross for getting a yellow cross we will follow some algorithm and in the process of algorithm first we will get a yellow straight line and then we get a cross but here throughout the solving process we got yellow bits these are three bits whenever you get these three bits at some other location say for example see that you turn it and place these bits at 9 o'clock and 12 o'clock this you have to remember once the yellow bits are placed at 9 o'clock and 12 o'clock follow this move the move is f u r u prime r prime and f prime with this we got the yellow cross with a yellow bit in the left corner sometimes while solving this comes in some other location if this after getting the yellow cross we get a yellow side piece at some other location see that you turn the top face and bring the corner yellow bit to the left side bottom once you get this now we have the next algorithm for solving the upper face the algorithm is hold like this first the algorithm is r u r prime u r u2 and r prime with this the top face is done now for solving the upper layers lateral face first investigate when you investigate you will get the two orange bits in this location so turn the top face such that the orange bits come in line with the orange face and you get two vertical orange lines of this form and uh, no other face has uh, such so when you get like this put this face to the left side 
and then follow this algorithm so this is in the left side hold this and follow this algorithm l prime u r u prime l u r prime r u r prime u r u2 r prime once you do so you will observe every face has the same vertical line see orange vertical line blue vertical line red vertical line green vertical line sometimes after following this step of algorithm any three faces has a three colored vertical line with one face completely solved so when you get any one face lateral face completely solved keep this in mind to keep that completely solved face away from you but here we did not get such so with this have any of these lateral faces towards you and follow this algorithm now now f2 u r prime l f2 l prime r u f2 with this the two orange lines is there blue lines is there red lines is there but the back face is a solved so one of the face is solved the face that is solved keep it away from you and now this is away and now you have this face two vertical lines two vertical lines two vertical lines and the back face is solved now follow the same algorithm once again f2 u r prime l f2 l prime r u f2 with this the ruby cube is solved thanks for watching this video